This is the Micro Homily for the 17th of April. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Why does John not have all the detail that Matthew and Mark have about that incident crossing the lake? doesn't mention them thinking they're seeing a ghost, doesn't mention them crying out of fear, in fear, completely fails to mention Peter starting to walk towards Jesus and then feeling the wind and taking fright. Why? Well, one possibility that's been suggested by scripture scholars is that John thinks all of the detail is getting in the way of something important. That he wants people to concentrate on the essentials. There's a strong wind. They're crossing a body of water. Jesus says, it is I, not much different to the I am who I am. God's name given to Moses. And when Jesus gets into the boat, all of a sudden, they're safely on the other side. Perhaps John is asking, expecting people to recognise a parallel with the parting of the waters of the Red Sea and the people of Israel being led from slavery to freedom. Perhaps he wants them to understand that it's the God who rescued one people from their slavery in Egypt, who in Jesus, leading the apostles, is bringing that salvation to the world. Perhaps. In that first reading, well, it, it takes away any sense of us imagining this sort of lovey-dovey, problem-free, idealised view of the early church. No, there were real problems, and in this case it was a crisis. Those new Christians who spoke Greek saw that their widows weren't getting the same rations as the new Christians who spoke Aramaic. And what did the Apostles do? They confronted the problem head on. They understood that if they were to improve in their distribution of food, that would lead to them neglecting their core duties of prayer and preaching and proclaiming the Gospel. So they invited the community to bring forward others to undertake that work. Not that it was less important work, but that it was different work. And the apostles must concentrate on theirs and not try and do everything and then end up doing everything badly. <laughs>